This is a demonstration of the magnetic field produced by a current carrying wire. I have a power supply here which will supply a current in this direction in the, in the red wire. Then there's a, a wire that you may be able to dimly see that passes under the plastic here, up here, over here, and then the, the segment of wire that I'm, I'm going to be uh, focusing on is this little maybe two inch segment of wire that starts here and goes vertically down. The current in that wire will be down and according to uh, the right hand rule, if we put our thumb in the direction of the current, then our fingers will, will curl in the direction of the magnetic field that that wire will produce. We have three uh, little magnets, compass needles, they're actually interacting a little bit with each other right now, as well as interacting with the Earth's magnetic field. They're all pointing roughly in the direction of north in this particular room. But when I introduce uh, a voltage into, uh, and a current in this wire, the current uh, down will cause those magnetic field uh, magnetic fields to fluctuate and cause a, a circular magnetic field here. And the compass needles should reflect those changes. So this needle has responded admirably and is pointed in the direction of the local magnetic field. This needle is also doing pretty well. This needle is still thinking about the direction of um, the Earth's magnetic field. But basically we see here that we've got uh, a movement in the direction. We have competition between the Earth's magnetic field and the circular magnetic field. But we've got a movement in the direction of a, a magnetic field produced by this current carrying wire. So I just turned the power off and the magnets are again pointing in the direction of, of the Earth's magnetic field. This is uh, this magnetic field that's produced by a single wire if you have a, a bunch of wires together, for example, in the third grade when you wound a wire around a nail, attach the two ends of the wire to a battery, then you could magnetize the nail. What happens there is much more powerful here because you have several wires very close together producing magnetic fields in the same direction, and the combined effect is a much stronger magnetic field. The, in contrast, the, the magnetic field produced by just a single wire is relatively weak.